Hi guys, Josh here, welcome to France Best Second. Today we're going to be pushing some HP5 and doing a bit of a fashion shoot with Tyler. So we're going to have some fun in Eat Street and we'll probably end up doing some other stuff as well. So we're back from shooting and we just pushed some HP5 to 1600, so we pushed two stops. And so HP5 along with tri and other black and white films push really well, unlike colour films which you get a lot of contrast and grain with. With black and white film it's not as bad and it's more desirable in the look I feel. Now a lot of shots do have either handshake or the focus is just a bit off or a lot off. Unfortunately I forgot to bring my handle for the camera so my hands were a bit shakier than they usually would be. A lot of these shots are a bit too shaky because I did have to have the shutter speed either at 30th or 60th. Another thing with the medium format film is it's incredibly shallow. Like 2.8 uh, on 35 millimeter is not as shallow as 2.8 on 120. The viewfinder for Mamma Mia is very hard to look through at night. It's, you, it's kind of very dark during the day to begin with. That using it at night, it's even harder to to see through. I have three images that I'd say are usable. This is just gonna show you how the film looks straight from the lab. And I'd like to thank Racket for the pushing and development scan. But yeah, this first shot would have been good if my hand wasn't shaky. Uh, composition's fine. Model could be a bit more expressive, but it's moody, it's black and white. The next shot, once again, the shot was actually fine with handshake, just the focus was off. Like you can see that the right side of the image is in focus, but the model's face isn't. And that's how tricky it is, just figuring out depth of field and your focus with medium format at night at 2.8. It's really damn shallow and it, it was a bit tricky. Um, but yeah, I had the model rolling her eyes, which you can't really see here anyway, just to be like, Look like you're kind of annoyed, I said, and she does look kind of annoyed, and she probably was. Next shot also has a bit of handshake to it. It's also a bit blurry, but I do think that is more from the handshake, though it definitely is out of focus as well. I can see there's a strand of her hand that isn't focused, so focus and handshake problems, so fun times, that's not usable. <laughs> Exposure-wise, the film is great. Like, it's not too great. Like, push to 1600, it's not really that grainy at all. Now, this shot is in focus. Hooray! <laughs> Not the most inspiring shot. Composition could have been a bit better. I do have a bit too much headroom and it is more to one size than I would have liked. I would have liked to the model a bit more centered. Yeah, it's in focus, it's nice and sharp, which is great, and the push looks great. Uh, not too much grain. It's definitely easier. the model's face. Um, not her fault necessarily. I I was pretty rushed with this roll of film because we're filming two videos this night. So I don't think my direction was as great as it could have been. The next shot is shaky, so this this area was a bit darker than a lot of other places in this location. And it definitely, I think I was on a 30th of the shot up. And so I do have that handshake and I did forget to bring my handle, which would have eliminated that a bit more. And this roll of film was less important than the other rolls that were shot, which will be a future episode once my friend Jesse gets back from his trip. I was putting most of my ideas that I was getting in this location into this other roll of film than this one. This roll of film was a bit arbitrary and it was me just testing how HP5 looks pushed. Two stops, and you could probably even push it three stops to be honest, and it would be fine. Now this shot I do kind of wish wasn't shaky. You can see there's a bit of shake to it. You can see that her neck and her chest and the hair is in focus, but my hands were too shaky for it. And this is another shot I wish turned out. Um, obviously too much handshake. I think, yeah, you can tell her jeans are in focus. So yeah, this is just me being too shaky, and it was pretty dark in this area of each street as well. So unfortunately, not a usable shot, but if it wasn't shaky, it would have been very usable. This shot also shaky, focused on our shoulders, so the focus wasn't on our eyes, it was a bit too forward as well. But the bokeh is really nice, like look at all that bokeh and the contrast. Um, obviously her eye doesn't have much detail just because too much shadow, so might not have been a usable shot anyway. Now this shot really worked. I really, really like this shot, she's actually in focus. There's good contrast, good use of negative space and foreground, background. Um, 
I like this shot a lot, <laughs> mostly because it's usable. <laughs> But yeah, it's a good shot and I really like it. And the model's face, just the way she's looking, I, I just like how this whole shot kind of works. The shot's both shaky and the focus is 240. You can see the focus is on her sleeve, which is much further in front than it is on her. Could have been a nice shot, um, but yeah, it wasn't in focus and you can definitely tell it's shaky. I'll get you to turn around. And this is the last shot of the day, and thank you, Jesus, it is in focus. Exposure is really good. Uh, I like what the model is doing. And yeah, I'm happy with the shot. HP5 handle is pushing really well. I think I could even push it to 3200 and see how we go. And that will help eliminate handshake as well, because you get extra stop of light. So instead of having it at 30th or 60th, I could probably have it at 125th of a second which would definitely eliminate a lot of the handshakes so i might give that a go and guys thank you for watching please like subscribe turn on your post notifications to so you know when a new episode is up and please feel free to comment on anything whether it's anything on this video or a few other videos you want to see please let me know guys because i do want to know what you want so that i can get it to you but anyway i'm just sure this has been framed for a second I'm just get out there and shoot some film